The climate crisis is reshaping life in the United States, with extreme weather events becoming more frequent and devastating. According to NOAA, the U.S. experienced 18 separate billion-dollar weather and climate disasters in 2022 alone, from hurricanes to wildfires. As these events escalate, some states face significantly higher risks, making them more dangerous to live in. Today, we're taking a closer look into the most dangerous U.S. states during the climate crisis, exploring the factors that heighten their vulnerability and the challenges they face. Understanding Climate Danger Zones A state's danger level during the climate crisis depends on its exposure to extreme weather, the resilience of its infrastructure, and the ability of its communities to recover. Some states are geographically positioned in areas prone to hurricanes or flooding, while others face threats from wildfires or extreme heat. These risks are further amplified by the growing unpredictability of climate patterns. For example, rising sea levels intensify the effects of hurricanes, leading to more destructive storm surges, while prolonged droughts increase the likelihood of catastrophic wildfires. The criteria for determining these danger zones include the frequency and severity of natural disasters, the economic and human toll of these events, and the capacity of state and local governments to respond. Infrastructure resilience plays a crucial role, as aging or inadequate systems can exacerbate the impact of disasters. Additionally, the economic and social inequality in certain areas often leaves vulnerable populations disproportionately exposed to harm. Understanding these factors is essential for identifying the states where the climate crisis poses the greatest risks. The Climate Crisis – U.S. Vulnerabilities The United States is uniquely susceptible to a wide range of climate-related threats, making it one of the most vulnerable nations to the effects of global warming. Its vast and varied geography includes hurricane-prone coastal regions, drought-stricken plains, and wildfire-prone forests. This diversity of landscapes contributes to a broad spectrum of climate risks, each affecting different regions in distinct ways. Hurricanes and tropical storms frequently batter states along the Gulf and Atlantic coasts, bringing with them destructive winds, flooding, and storm surges. Meanwhile, states in the western U.S. face the growing menace of wildfires fueled by hotter temperatures and prolonged droughts. Tornadoes pose a significant risk in the central states, while rising temperatures across the country have made heat waves more frequent and severe. Flooding remains a constant concern for states with extensive river systems or low-lying areas, with urban flooding becoming a more common challenge due to outdated infrastructure. The data underscores the increasing intensity of these disasters. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration reports that the number of billion-dollar disasters has been steadily rising, reflecting the escalating impact of climate change. As these events grow in frequency and severity, the need to assess and address the specific vulnerabilities of each state becomes increasingly urgent. Understanding these risks is the first step in mitigating the dangers and protecting those who live in high-risk areas. Ranking the Most Dangerous States when it comes to identifying the most dangerous states to live in during the climate crisis, several factors come into play. States that frequently endure hurricanes, wildfires, or extreme heat top the list due to the cumulative impact of these events on lives and infrastructure. Florida often ranks as the most hazardous state with its vulnerability to hurricanes and rising sea levels causing widespread damage. Recent hurricanes, such as Ian, have demonstrated how even a single storm can lead to devastating loss of life and billions in economic costs. California follows closely, facing a different but equally alarming set of challenges. The state is highly susceptible to wildfires, which have grown larger and more frequent in recent years due to prolonged drought and high temperatures. Additionally, its dense population and sprawling urban areas make the consequences of these disasters particularly severe. Texas also makes the list, with its combination of hurricanes, flooding, and extreme heat. The state's vast size means that it endures a variety of climate threats, often simultaneously, which strains its ability to respond effectively. Other states, such as Louisiana, which shares Florida's susceptibility to hurricanes, and Arizona, where extreme heat and drought dominate, round out the rankings. Each of these states faces unique challenges, but what unites them is the increasing frequency of extreme weather events that test their resilience year after year. K-12 
Case Studies, Extreme Climate Events in Key States Examining specific events provides a clearer picture of the dangers faced by states at the forefront of the climate crisis. Florida serves as a stark example, having endured Hurricane Ian in 2022, one of the most powerful storms in recent history. The hurricane left parts of the state in ruins, with entire communities submerged by storm surges. The event claimed dozens of lives and caused tens of billions of dollars in damage, highlighting the vulnerability of coastal areas to the dual threats of hurricanes and rising sea levels. In California, wildfires have become a near-constant presence, devastating both rural areas and urban fringes. The Camp Fire of 2018 remains one of the most catastrophic examples, destroying the town of Paradise and causing 85 fatalities. The fire was fueled by a combination of dry conditions, high winds, and outdated utility infrastructure, showing how multiple factors can converge to create deadly outcomes. Recovery from these events is often slow and expensive, with residents forced to rebuild in areas where the risks remain high. Texas faces a unique combination of hazards, as evidenced by the catastrophic winter storm in February 2021. The state's power grid failed under the strain of unprecedented cold, leaving millions without heat or electricity. The event exposed the vulnerabilities in Texas's infrastructure and demonstrated that climate risks are not limited to heat and drought. Together, these case studies illustrate the range and severity of threats facing the most dangerous states in the climate crisis, offering valuable lessons for preparedness and resilience. Who is most at risk? Vulnerable populations. The impact of the climate crisis does not fall evenly across populations. Vulnerable groups often face the highest risks, with limited resources to prepare for or recover from extreme weather events. Low-income communities are particularly exposed, as they are more likely to live in areas prone to flooding or heat waves where housing infrastructure is less robust. These populations may also lack access to adequate insurance or savings to rebuild after disasters. Elderly individuals and those with chronic health conditions are also at heightened risk, especially during extreme heat or severe storms. Many older adults live alone and may struggle to evacuate or access cooling centers during heat waves. Additionally, the stress of displacement caused by events like wildfires or hurricanes can exacerbate existing health issues. Children, too, are a vulnerable group, as their developing bodies are more susceptible to the effects of heat and poor air quality resulting from wildfires or industrial pollution. Coastal communities are another high-risk group, especially in states like Florida and Louisiana. These areas face rising sea levels, which not only increase the frequency of flooding, but also threaten long-term habitability. The economic consequences for residents, from declining property values to rising insurance premiums, further compound the challenges they face. Addressing these vulnerabilities is critical to ensuring the safety and resilience of at-risk populations in the most dangerous states. Economic Impact of Living in High-Risk States The financial toll of living in states prone to climate-related disasters is staggering. Residents in high-risk areas often face skyrocketing insurance premiums as companies account for the increased likelihood of property damage. In some cases, insurers withdraw entirely leaving homeowners without viable coverage options. This places a significant financial burden on individuals who may already be struggling to recover from past disasters. Beyond individual costs, the economic impact on state and local governments is immense. Disaster recovery often requires billions in federal aid, but rebuilding efforts can take years and leave communities with long-term economic scars. Infrastructure repairs such as fixing roads, bridges, and utilities further strain public budgets. For example, the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey in Texas required extensive rebuilding efforts, with damages estimated at over $125 billion. Additionally, businesses in high-risk states face challenges that affect local economies. Flooding, wildfires, and hurricanes can lead to prolonged closures, loss of inventory, and disruptions in supply chains. In turn, this creates job losses and reduces economic activity. These risks also influence migration patterns, as some residents and businesses choose to leave these states in search of safer and more affordable locations. 
the combination of rising costs, economic instability, and the growing threat of disasters underscores the immense financial challenges faced by those living in the most dangerous states during the climate crisis. Solutions and Adaptation Strategies While the dangers of the climate crisis are significant, states and communities can take steps to reduce risks and improve resilience. Many high-risk states have begun implementing strategies to address their vulnerabilities. For instance, Florida has strengthened building codes in hurricane-prone areas, requiring structures to withstand high winds and storm surges. These measures aim to reduce property damage and save lives during extreme weather events. California has focused on wildfire prevention by investing in controlled burns and improving forest management practices. These efforts aim to reduce the fuel available for fires, lessening their severity. The state has also adopted advanced early warning systems to alert residents of imminent threats, giving them more time to evacuate. Similarly, Texas has sought to address its power grid vulnerabilities by encouraging grid modernization and increasing renewable energy sources to handle extreme weather more effectively. Communities themselves play a vital role in adaptation. Grassroots initiatives often provide support for vulnerable populations, ensuring access to cooling centers during heat waves or organizing evacuation plans for those in high-risk areas. At the federal level, agencies like FEMA have enhanced disaster response funding and promoted preparedness education to mitigate the effects of climate-related events. Individual actions also contribute to resilience. Homeowners in flood-prone areas can invest in elevated housing or implement flood barriers. In wildfire-prone regions, defensible space around properties and fire-resistant materials can make a significant difference. While no single solution can eliminate the risks entirely, combining state policies, community efforts, and individual actions can reduce the dangers and build a more secure future for those living in high-risk areas. The climate crisis demands proactive and sustained adaptation to ensure safety and stability in the most vulnerable regions. Now it's time to hear from you. Would you consider moving to avoid the effects of climate change? Let us know in the comments section below.